Love One, this is Sonic Cream coming to you live from Rockefeller Center in New York City. During the holidays, it's really Yo, man, hectic around. Yo, my eye, home. It's just bustling, full of people. Over there, well, I can't get a good side of it, but they've opened their ice skating rink here at Rockefeller Center a little early this year. Uh, if you see all those people down there on white, they're skating. I'd get a closer look, but apparently they're doing construction, so I can only get so far, unless I'm actually skating, which I'm not. But, that's not the main highlight of this video. What? The main highlight is going to be a fantastical, whimsical place full of nothing but joy and excitement, at least to those of gamers everywhere. We will be arriving there momentarily, about a good ten seconds. Get a good look at those buildings. America's the best place ever. Hmm, yes, forever. Uh, let me see. Here we are. Just a little minute. Oh, look here in the window. Got Mario. We've got Bowser. Mario Kart again. This is none other than Nintendo World. You can't really see the sign, but we're going on in anyway. Let's see here. Huh, it looks like they changed the elevators to Mario 3D Land. Advertising for the 3DS. Mario sign right there. The first floor is primarily the Pokemon Center. That's what this building originally was, just for Pokemon, but they expanded it to all of Nintendo, which is probably the best idea in the long run. Uh, got 3DS displays. I'm 3D. I see stands for 3D land. Uh, here's what's left of the regular DS's. Pikachu plushies, Chimchar plushies. The inside story over here. Zekrom, Turchwig. Uh, collection of mediocre DS things. This is the main little seating area for those who want to play DS. I think I see Kirby Mass Attack over there. Uh, that's Poke Park Wii on the Wii display. Uh, like Pokemon Black version. And Pokemon White version. We have a lot of Unova Pokemon plushies as of late. Servine, Snivy. Oh, look, it's Darkrai. He's been cheapified. Poor guy. Tepig. I think Boogie is down here. Shaman. I think that's Petalil. And one on the bottom. Pokemon trading card game. Uh, I guess it's on the Hard Gold Soul Silver Pack, so I don't really like it, honestly. But look, we have Legendary Dog t shirts Raikou, Suicune, Entei, and just Pikachu Ram on the bottom there. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have the Elemental Monkeys. Uh, I believe it's Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Four. And little holes up here. Over here is an ad for Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Quite epic, if I do say so myself. Pokeball. Hello, Pikachu. Yes, you are awesome, I agree. Let's head upstairs. Even on the way up, there's some little ads going on. Like this Mario bed uh, sheet set. Complete with blankets, pillows, fitted sheets, throw sheets, and a towel with Luigi on it. And a peach mat at the bottom. Here's the link. Uh, even up the stairs, Mario's stomping on Goomba. That's what he does that. Luigi's awesome. It looks like some of his hand got cut off there. Uh, here is the main floor, or the upstairs floor, whatever floor you want to call it, floor. We have more shirts. Awesome Kirby shirt back there. 
Let's see. I see Zelda wallets, hats, backpacks, more shirts. There's mute. There's a Nintendo music playing in the background here. So if you hear that, then you know what it is. I guess for Skyward Sword, they're doing a little Zelda history bit. Uh, I think these are the links from the Four Swords Adventures. Uh, oh look, here it is. Original Zelda, The Adventure of Link, Zelda 2. Apparently a Zelda manga, the Minish Cap. They forgot the Oracle. Let's see, Oracle of Ages, or Seasons. Now that's epic. Replica of the Master Sword. Of course we can't touch it. Here's a authentic looking Hyrulean shield. And there's the Young Link variation. More Zelda history. That's the premium edition, or the uh, platinum, whatever you want to call it. It comes with the Golden Wiimote and the music CD. Twilight Princess, Link's and Bro, he's in Melee. Oh, he also guest starred So Calibur 2 for GameCube, can't forget that. Uh, Zelda watches, Wind Waker figurines, and all that. Uh, here's something that's really cool handheld history. Dating all the way back from Hannah Budokard in 1889. And that's saying something. Game and Watch. Let's see. Oh, original NES. There's Rob. Didn't forget about you. Uh, regular Game Boys. Game Boy Pockets. Light. Color. Well, Light's away Japan. And Phantom P. This one here, this beaten up one. It says, this Game Boy was damaged when barracks were bombed during the 1990-91 Gulf War, and it still works. Let's see, original DS Lite, get the Nintendogs, I think it's WarioWare. They have some Final Fantasy, I believe Ring of Fate, 12 Revenant Wings, and 3, the remake. Uh, I think that's a world, I think that's the World Interview version. Japanese fans. More shirts, Galaxy, Galaxy is awesome, you might add. More backpacks, and completely full Wii displays all around. Isn't it just glorious? Let's see. I think this is the stopping point of this little tour. Since Skyward Sword just came out, they have Zelda history all over. 87, Zelda, 92, Link to the Past, 2003, Wind Waker, 2006, Twilight Princess, 2011, Ocarina of Time 3D, 2011, Skyward Sword. It's Zelda month here at Nintendo World, and it is epic. Uh, I think that's all the tour I can give you for now. I might do it again later on. Oh, just try to put there in the window. I might do it again, like, if I visit here again and there's something else going on. Probably Mario or Pokemon based. That's about it, so I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching, or whatever you want to call it.